materials and tools but no matter what the material or how sophisticated the equipment being used man is the only member in this combination that thinks that knows what is safe knows the material to select and why and knows which tool to use or machine to employ the only right way to work is the safe way you are the one who has to know what is safe you are the one who has to think safety at all times Power tools are what you will want to use to help you do the job fast and efficiently. They will help, but only if you know how to make use of them and how to use them safely. The decision is yours. The switch should be off when you prepare the job. If you know how to plan and how to prepare, you will get the job done right and safely. Warped materials should be planed before working on them. They represent danger. So do knots. They might fly out. For each material, there are preferences and drawbacks. Working safely will let you complete a job and will let you go on to the next. An overheated bit could snap and injure, but the application of oil, the correct oil, will help make the job safe. Know the material and tools you are going to use. Safe practices will get a job done well and safely. The table saw has probably caused more accidents than any other power tool. A push stick, different versions for different applications, will help to keep your fingers away from the blade. The stock you work should be secured. If your hands let go, it is you who might get hurt. There are some operations that require the removal of the guard. And for precision, should be done without a push stick. Check with your instructor before you take this course of action, and be sure to be familiar with the handling of the machine. Extra caution should of course be taken, but never disregard the rule that waste stock should not be removed from any machine until after it has come to a complete stop. Don't ever reach across the cutting edge. Plan any job thoroughly. Select the tools you are going to use carefully and don't think it'll do if the tool you've selected is not in perfect shape. A screwdriver misused. A cold chisel worn out. A chisel dull and nicked. A handle split. A handle broken. Inaccurate work will be the result, but safety neglected is the real hazard. A loose hammerhead may fly off. It not only represents danger to yourself, but everyone else around you as well. Take the time to wedge it and prevent accidents. Accidents don't just happen, they are caused. A greasy wrench handle might be just such a cause. You can't get any grip and your hand will slip when you apply pressure. A bird head on a center punch. The hammer might slip. Your hands might get hurt, but even more dangerous, the burr might chip off. Dress properly. Dress protectively before you enter the shop. 
In unarmed combat, your clothing can be used against you by an opponent. In the same way, machines can grab your clothing, and they won't stop even when you are down. So, dress for action. Don't give any machine a chance to get hold of your clothing. Take off your tie. And take off your rings and wristwatch before you start to work. Shirt sleeves are bound to get in your way. If you wear a smock, button it up. Loose sleeves are rolled up above your elbow. If you don't wear a smock, wear an apron. And don't forget when you work with a torch or any flame, you will need extra protection. Put on a leather or asbestos apron to protect against the heat and shield your clothing against flying sparks. Protect your eyes, no matter where you work. Safety glasses should be worn from the moment you enter the shop, but sometimes a shield will offer better protection. Or goggles. They should be used to protect you from flying particles. Wear safety glasses at all times. Don't forget that the machine that's working next to you can cause injury to you as well. The floor in your shop should be kept clean, but you have to work and the chips will fly. Solid leather shoes will protect you best from injury to your feet. And gloves prevent cut fingers and shield you from heat. Think protectively, dress protectively, work protectively. Only then will you be able to work with the confidence of the skilled craftsman. Carrying material is part of any job. Be especially careful with long objects. He's asking for trouble. Like this. And this. Now he's got control. One end is near the floor, and the other end is out of the way of heads and other objects. Remember that the other fellows in the shop are concentrating on the job that they are doing. Don't place them in danger by the way you are doing your job, directly or indirectly. You can learn a lot about lifting from this fellow. He is squatting, not bending from the waist. He is close to the weight, with his feet apart. He lifts with his leg muscles, not his back. Follow the same practice in the shop when lifting anything. Get a good hold on the object you are lifting, squat, don't bend your back. This technique is all important, not only in professional training. Never bend over when you pick up anything. Your legs are stronger than your back. Rods can be as dangerous as bayonets. Carry them close to your body in a vertical position. Whenever you carry anything, don't endanger somebody else's health or life. Tools are like weapons. The best way to carry tools is in a carry-all. Keep pointed or cutting edges down. If something is bulky or heavy, ask for help. You don't prove any point if you injure your back, except that you have been careless. Remember that no matter what you do, the best way has to be the safe way. Be sure to make and keep your shop a safe place to work in. And be sure that you recognize safety hazards for what they are. Mistakes committed by you that can be very costly. Keep the floor in your shop clean and keep it free from obstacles. A safe and non-slip footing will make you feel comfortable and will allow you to concentrate on what your hands are doing. A cluttered floor doesn't make your job easier, nor is it safe. 
don't leave anything around for somebody else to trip over. Take the time to clear away shavings. You have to be able to see what you're doing. Waste containers are there for your safety. Metal cuttings are dangerous. Don't let them accumulate. A broken blade can be a hazard. You'd use a brush to clean away broken glass. So use a brush when you clean up your bench or machine. Too many tools around you won't save you time. They'll create accidents. Return what you don't need right now. But do it properly. Do it the safe way. Return surplus tools. It's the safe way for yourself and others. Oily rags might start a fire. When not used, they belong in a covered container. You know that accidents could happen. Know what to do if they do. You should know the location of all breakers and power switches. Where the first aid box is kept and what it contains. In case of fire, it might depend on you to use the correct and safe extinguisher. A foam extinguisher can handle fires involving wood and paper and paints, lacquers and thinners. But fires involving electrical parts and wiring will have to be fought with a carbon dioxide type of extinguisher. Only a dry chemical extinguisher can safely be used against any type of fire.